Friends, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Melissa. I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons. And we are in Orlando right now. We just got here last night. We did not film a travel vlog because we barely made it onto our flight. But we're here. <laughs> and we don't check into our resort at Disney until today. Yeah. So what do we do when you fly into Florida? You can't check into your hotel the next day and you don't want to go to property. So what we did was we decided to book for the very first time the Hyatt Regency at the Orlando International Airport. It's literally in the airport. If you've never flown into MCO, as soon as you get out of the gates, you come into the great big lobby and there's literally a hotel. And yeah, you, you can, can see all the rooms. <laughs> you can see the fountain out in the middle and it's really, it's really a different kind of hotel. We checked in last night. It was pretty late, about 10, 30, 11 ish. By the time we got into the rooms, we were too tired to film a room tour, but now we have slept. Yes. We're going to give you a full review of the room, the pros and the cons. To be honest, there's mostly pros. This yeah. is a very, very nice room. And it wasn't like super cheap. Um, it was probably around $250 for the night, and it probably depends on what time of the year you're going. And what day of the week. And what day of the week, <laughs> all those things. But I will say it was extremely, extremely convenient. Yes. When you come in and you're tired, if you have a late night flight, like a red eye or something, and you're getting in super late, this was so convenient. It was so you're worth really the money. paying for the convenience. It was yeah. worth the money. Okay, so let's do the room tour. So we're in room 9030, and real quick, before we get into the room, Look at this space in the daytime. We came in at night. There's actually a lot of light in here. We said this is like an indoor outdoor hotel. It's really different. But then all the way down at the end, you can actually look out onto the runways. And I'll, we'll, we'll show that in a minute. But come on into room 9030. This is a two queen room. That was the door. So as soon as you come into the room, right next to it is this little armoire closet type space. Plenty of hangers for what you need, when you need it. And there is an iron and ironing board. It's tucked back there in the corner. Uh, hotel irons are kind of hit or miss. And this one actually put a stain on Alyssa's shirt. So uh, husband fail on that one. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> this does have a an adjoining room and it actually is a suite. And I was like, oh, we're going to the suite, but we didn't. So like I said, this is a two, these are queens. One thing that we did notice about this room is that there is kind of a lack of plugs. We're used to Disney rooms where there's like plugs on the ceiling, on the floor, next to the bed, on the bed, in the bed. And really the only ones that it has is two grounded plugs right down here with two USB. And that's kind of it. But it does have these really cool lights on the headboard that does lend a lot of light. Alyssa and I were saying that the headboards are like this tufted leather and they're super comfy when you hit your head on them in the middle of the night. There are also these reading lights that I inadvertently looked right into and you can have a little light reading. <laughs> okay. So across from the beds is this massive TV. There aren't a lot of channel choices, but it did look like you could connect to the Chromecast on it. We were tired. I didn't care about connecting anything, but it's there if you need it. Uh, going along this wall is this little seating area. They have a little stool that kind of comes out if you want to um, sit. <laughs> and then this is kind of all your accessories. There is an in-room safe. There are extra pillows and blankets on top of there. And then as you come down, there is a coffee machine that my wife forgot to take the coffee out of. Uh, but it does have these K-cup type coffees provided to you. They have regular and decaf along with cream, sugar, some tea. There is an ice bucket and conveniently the ice machine is right down the hall. Super convenient. It came with two Aquafina water bottles, which we promptly drank because hydration is key. <laughs> so Alyssa's already had our liquid IV. Go down below for our code. It's a lifesaver down here in Florida. And finally, the last little piece on this entire thing is a drink cooler. Uh, I've learned that these are coolers, not 
fridges. And so then when we walked in, Alyssa was like, yes, we have a balcony. And so we opened it up. I undid the lock and I was like, yes, we're gonna go out there and look upon the travelers. And then it says, for your safety, the balcony door is locked. And sure enough, the balcony door is locked, but you can look down upon the travelers of MCO. You can see across to Terminal B, which is where we're gonna be going in a couple minutes. It really is a unique hotel. Now, there is a desk uh, situation over here with this big comfy chair. This is where Alyssa did her makeup this morning, plugged it right here into the lamp. There is another plug on the lamp with the USB. And then as Alyssa was wrapping up, there is another set of plugs right there under the desk if you needed to plug something else into it. But overall, there's plenty of room in this room. And one thing that I feel is a luxury in a hotel room is of course a ceiling fan. Oh my gosh, I thought it was going to hit my head too. And you can control both of them via the switches over there. It does have controllable uh, AC and it's nice and colored. Uh, as, a, as a tech nerd, this was nice. And I feel, did you get too hot or too cold or anything? No, it was like perfect. It was perfecto. Now. Yeah, and the beds were comfy. The beds were extremely comfortable. They're spoiled with Disney pillows and they give you like a thousand of them. So I had enough pillows, but on to one of my favorite rooms. Come with me. Just kidding, you're gonna come with me instead of Garrett to the bathroom. So the bathroom is right here, right when you walk in. This is the main door, the closet area is right here, and then the bathroom door is right here, and it's a very spacious bathroom. There's lots of room for activities in here. It's very nice and spacious. So right as you walk in, you can see there's the toilet right there. They do have plenty of towels, and the towels, we were saying, they're like very plush. Very nice towels here, we enjoyed them. They usually, they included four, I think, yeah, because we used two of them. And over on this side, you do have a little trash can. This is your sink area. So on top, you've got a little tissue box. They give you some facial soap and some body lotion, which is very nice. And actually, the smell is really nice. I don't know what the smell is. It doesn't say, That's but great. it's pharmacopoeia and it's cruelty and vegan free. I thought it smelled really nice. So below the sink, there are some important things to note. You have an actual makeup mirror, which it's nice that it wasn't attached to the wall. Me being 32 weeks pregnant, I like to sit down in the mornings instead of stand while I'm doing my makeup. So I actually brought this into the bedroom and sat at the desk and did my makeup. So this was awesome. I loved that feature. And then at the very bottom, you also have a hair dryer. And if you're wondering what the hair dryer is, it's just a Con Air, you know, your typical hair dryer. Did the trick, dried my hair. I do have very thin hair, but it, it did the trick. Oh, a shower mat, which we never used. Look at that. And then it leads you into the very nice shower. Garrett will take you in there. They have a very nice shower head. The water pressure was fine. Like it wasn't like the best thing in the world. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. And they do provide you with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all from the same brand. It smelled very nice. This style of door just brings the water. Like when you're done showering, <laughs> it brings the water out and onto the floor. Obviously we had a towel down here, but just one thing to note that the floor gets very watery <laughs> when you're done showering. I almost like slipped last night and girl was like, I didn't even know, but it's because it like comes out with you when you get out of the shower. Something else to note about the bathroom for the middle of the night, which I found very nice because I use the bathroom all the time now. They have like a light sensor that turns on in here in the middle of the night. So I never had to actually turn on the light to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. And they also have a light feature right underneath the bed. So I don't know if it'll turn on now because it's lights are on but in the middle of the night when I would like get up the lights would turn on down here so you like knew where you were walking <laughs> which is kind of a nice feature we wanted to show you the little lights I don't know if you can see there's a little light on each side and they're motion censored and they stay on for like I don't know maybe five minutes it's it's enough for me to go to the bathroom and come back and then by the time I'm back they like turn off so yeah 
I think that's it. So Alyssa, would you stay here again, even though the cost is a little higher? It's a little higher, but honestly, it's like the price of like a moderate resort at Disney World. I think this is a super convenient place to stay, especially if you're getting in either very late and don't need to get on property until the next day, or maybe you're not even going to Disney. Maybe you're going somewhere else. Maybe yeah. you're going to Universal or going to the beach or wherever. This is just so convenient. You're paying for the convenience. Yes. I would totally and, stay here again. And one thing that we forgot to mention is they have a bar that's open till midnight. They have 24-hour food. Yes. We tried to order some, but we, we failed at it. But they have a lot of options I because this hotel knows that people are coming and going literally 24-7, yep. 365. Exactly. And they cater to that, which, again, you're paying for that, uh, that convenience mm -hmm. of it all. Exactly. I mean, we don't know how any of the food was because we didn't eat any of it. Nope. But it is convenient that they had 24-hour room service. If you needed something, if you got in super late, most of the things in the airport closed by like 9 or 10. Yep. So it's nice to be able to have, if you're staying here, you can have that convenience of the in-room dining and stuff. So yeah, so if you it have, was great. If you have stayed here and you know how the food or the restaurants or anything is, comment down below. There was a cool look at Hemispheres, looked like a cool restaurant that looked over the runway. Yeah. And actually I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put in some footage here of the view at the end of our hallway right here, cause that's really stinking cool. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. We will answer them to the best of our ability overall awesome place to stay we would definitely stay here again and now it's time to actually get onto disney property and go to walt disney world because we're staying at the polynesian so stay tuned for the next vlog we'll see you guys real soon thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't yet and thanks bye <laughs> see you later